In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the effects of placing a magnet onto or near an inductor in a wah pedal. 10 or 12 years ago, I read things on the internet to the effect of if you place a magnet on your inductor, it'll make your wah pedal sound different or better. So I went out and bought these cheap refrigerator magnets and put them on here and never noticed any kind of change in the sound whatsoever. Now, I only chose this particular wah pedal because this inductor has a nice rectangular shape to it that was easy to attach a magnet to. I did not pick it because the internet says that the TDK5103 inductor is crap. This, in fact, is one of my best sounding wah pedals. So now I will show you what my testing setup is, and um, we'll see just what the effect of a magnet is. The magnets I'm going to use are uh, it's just a little weak refrigerator magnet, um, a screwdriver with a magnet on the tip that can pick up a little small socket, and a old uh, magnet out of a speaker that I've had for years and years that can pick up a three ounce object. So my test setup is pretty simple. I'm just going to take the output of this function generator. I'm going to feed it through this oscilloscope octopus. I have it set up so I can look at the waveforms on the Tektronix 453 oscilloscope. And then um, here's my device under test setup. I'm just going to piggyback a pair of leads off of the uh, inductor here that we're testing. Um, and go through this little arrangement here I have here to my little mini amp so we can hear it. So the inductor that I'm going to be testing is just a general purpose one Henry inductor made in Japan by a company named Mitsumi. And this was pulled out of an old Radio Shack graphic equalizer that I tore apart simply to get all the different inductors out of it which I kind of kicked myself for doing now, but it's also allowed me to have various value inductors to mess around with. So I'm just going to feed this a one kilohertz signal directly, sine wave directly through the inductor and into my little mini amp. Now, here's the refrigerator magnet. Let's see what that does. Absolutely no change in the sound whatsoever. Okay, let's try the magnet on the end of this little screwdriver. No change. Now I'm going to take this old kind of strong speaker magnet that can pick up a three ounce steel object and we'll put it on there and see what happens. Oh, finally now we get something. Did you notice how it attenuated the signal going through it? Like threw a blanket on it, right? So now all I have to do is simply rotate the magnet and I can vary how strong the signal is. But in all cases, it's kind of attenuating the signal. And then you could play around with the angle of the thing, and it will kind of get louder or less loud, depending on the angle and the rotation of the magnet in relation to the inductor. So, okay, we do get a change in the sound using a pretty strong magnet, but the problem is, if I was to keep this magnet on here full time, what's going to happen probably over time is it's going to de it's going to mess up the ferrite here and it's going to like permanently demagnetize it. And then your inductor is basically if you were to take this magnet off, it wouldn't work at all anymore because you've demagnetized the ferrite core. So now I have a yellow phasal hooked up to my test setup here. We'll feed the same one kilohertz signal through it 
and see what that does. Now this is like uh, measures like 540 millihenries. It's nominal value of 500 millihenries, but it measures 540. So you can see with this value inductor, it's a much more subtle difference. There is some difference, but it's not as noticeable as with the larger value inductor. And of course it'll change depending on where you have the magnet in relation to the center of the core and so on. Now, would I recommend keeping this very strong magnet on your wah pedal inductor? No, I would not. It's much, it, you can get much more of a change in the sound by tweaking things in the circuit itself, like maybe the Q's resistor or the, um, the values of the resistors of the transistors are changing the transistors themselves to maybe get more gain or less gain. That's how you change the sound of a wah pedal. Messing around with magnets is really not worth it. So now we'll just take a quick look at the waveforms with the yellow inductor. I'll turn on the sound here. So this is no magnet. I'm going to put the magnet on here. You can see how it kind of messes with the amplitude of the signal. depending on how you rotate the magnet in relation to the inductor. Now, you know, I have this magnet literally sitting right on the inductor and I have no effect on the signal until about a 32nd of an inch away from the inductor. So your magnet's gotta be right on the inductor as well. Now we can take a look just for fun at 500 hertz and see what that does. Has some effect. So we go down to, let's say, 100 hertz. Here it has a little bit of a change on the sound, but nothing you can really see on the scope. 